Good afternoon. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, the short queen of the shorts today. And boy, was it a beautiful, it was like bearish gap mania today. So here we go. I O. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Amazing. Amazing move in this thing. You think a $4 stock or a $3 stock can't have a big move? Wrong O. Oh. Look at this. And there you have it. Absolutely fantastic, full-on move. Let's look at the setup. Although this is done. This is absolutely done here. I mean, there's a chance it could set up in a 15 minute. It's rallied back enough, but in fact, let me look at it. Really has to hold four, which it's gonna do. Well, anyways, here's the move this morning. Beautiful. Aggressive entry paid. Amazing, beautiful, fantastic 10 cent stop. Rally back up. This, this, this is the kind of thing you dream of. As soon as it broke here, you could either add more, take more, take a new trade, whatever you want to do. And then it had another chance here. Just unbelievable. This is what I call capitulation. It's just capitulated. Panic activity, constant sell off, amazing move down, broke of $3. Just every target in the world, it was hit and the dream targets. So IO, fantastic, amazing, beautiful gap. Rated over 20 points, so was a golden gap today. Met the golden gap points requirements today. And there you have it. When? This was really good. And, and, and a lot of people probably didn't even do this today because they don't have my system and don't know how to rate things to see if they're going to work. And, and, you know, it's one of these things where I kept watching this all morning. And at first I wasn't crazy about it. And then I went back and then I rated it. And then I went back to it again. And then I added some things to it. And I said, no, no, I, this is really good. And not only that, the numbers were clear on this. Um, it, it had to hold 850, which is all the way up here. And the target was $8 or basically even 790. And it came down in here and it could really today dream target go to six seven sixty seven fifty but again you know the morning move is the one that I got in this let's go over it it, it was just perfect too waited 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 boop took it right here beautiful move and I had a great exit I actually got out on this bar here I could have made three more cents. One of these, one of these times where I had a perfect exit, and lately I, I've just been really spot on with my exits. Um, no reason you don't hold this to get a rally back after a beautiful move like this. You don't hold this. It did rally and break a new low, then I think it went ten cents under it. But you don't, you don't give back ten cents to make ten cents. You don't give back twenty cents to make ten cents. So perfect exit on this. I got out. Beautiful, fantastic, out. Another really good gap, fell off a cliff with everything else in the world today. So then there was Whole Foods. I did not do this. This basically wasn't, didn't meet the requirements for me today. I, I really felt like it wasn't going to work. What really told me, well, two things. One, my rating system, it got a 19. And in a 19, things have a 50-50 chance of working or failing. What I didn't like about this was, first of all, the market fell in today, but it could have, it could have held. It didn't, but it could have. And the problem with WFM is that, you know, this chart is an amazing chart. It's a very strong stock. Everybody loves this thing. And it did gap down. And it did rate 19 points. And it could have worked today, but it didn't. How are we going to know? Immediately, right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. If this had sold off right out of the gate, then I would have been convinced, but it didn't do it. And actually nothing that this would have done today if this had gapped down more and more and more and more and more. This is one of these instances where this couldn't have, this, this, there was no way this was going to make it today. Nothing that this would have done today would have made me want to do it unless it opened and swooshed. If it had opened and swooshed, fine, but it didn't. And then actually at one point, there was a setup in here. If you did it and did the entry right, you actually made good money, but you would have had to take the exact entry and get out of the exact time. So this a touchdown in a number today, first bar of the day is huge. Um, it's a dollar, rallies over the high, which is never good. Here was the entry on this if you did it. And if you did it, you made a buck. Well, not quite. Almost. 
and you would have had to get out. Strict, hard and fast exit rules or you went all the way back through your price. And I did say at one point then this morning after I saw that, it was around here, I said, this is going to go green today because I saw what the market was doing. I saw what this was doing. I said, this isn't right. And it is green today. It is green today. It's going to it's gonna close green today. And, you know, it's just, it just isn't working. There's not enough panic here. Oh, I see this here now, too, in the five. Nope. This is going to close green today. It's not going to close red. Possible thaw through for this tomorrow. I mean, there is a chance it could thaw through tomorrow, but low odds considering that it didn't today and it really should have today. It really should have today. So I'm glad I didn't do this. I, I, I didn't have conviction. Why didn't I do it? A, it rated 19 points, and B, I didn't have conviction. So then the answer is no. You don't, you don't touch it with a 10-foot pole. All right, let's go to the next one here. KLIC. Uh, sloppy move in the morning here. Kind of screwy. Ran all the way up to the maximum level of resistance. Bizarro world. But if you took um, took this and got it in and out of the right place, you made money. Really, really hard entry, though, to do this here. Really hard entry to do this here. Why? Because of the fact that it rallied so far up to the number. If you did it here, you made money. If you did it in here, you made money. I actually called a late play in this here. In the five. I saw it rolling over. Called a late play in this here, 02 by 11. And, and, and this was actually the best risk to reward trade that this had all day. Uh, for some reason, this isn't getting sold off today hard, but I do like the bigger target on this today down here to 11.50. This still could get to the bigger target today. Just because it didn't this morning, this, this could still do it today. Well, Whole Foods isn't going to do it. This still has some possibilities here for itself. But again, lunchtime is not the time to be entering new trades. If you're ready in something, you let it fall through. Okay? So that is this guy here. Now, another favorite gap I had this morning was this one. Oh, my goodness. I haven't gone back and looked at this. Wow. Jeez Louise, 1350, 1320. So the this worked, but this morning it was it was thin. It it really worked well though. It's not spreading now either, and it was spready this morning. Let's look at the setups in this one. I mean the volume really didn't come into this until like in here. I mean, here's really where the, by the time this broke off is where the volume really came into it. You could have even done a breakdown play in this with a tight stop over 14. And it actually has gone almost a dollar since then. Hard to believe. Look. Look at that. Actually, if you had done this breakdown play here, you, 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 you'd be out of this. It's 80 cents. But the stop was nothing. Really nice move. Could have done any trade in the one or the two minute on this, but the, but the volume didn't really come into this until after the first 15 minutes. You can see this on the chart, though. What a beautiful, fantastic, lovely bearish gap and a golden gap. And this one rated very high, too. Let me find this one. Yeah, this one was over 20 points as well. So it was just one of those days where there was just so many things to do, lots and lots and lots of stuff. And you could have watched almost almost anything, actually, uh, today because of the market. In fact, let's look at the market. So I was a little surprised. Thought the market was going to break out higher today. Didn't do it. We actually gapped up. Uh, up in the spy, neutral in the queues, but we didn't make it over the area. We didn't make it over the area, and why doesn't even matter. It, the fact is we didn't, and we came down hard this morning. Every time I kept looking, at breaking a new low and a new low and a new low, and the market was falling over, and it really helped everything in the planet fall into itself. It's interesting because it, it made me think about a reference to the next, the upcoming year. First of all, we're still in an uptrend. We're still in an uptrend. Intraday today is bearish. 
But overall, the market's in an uptrend. But really, longer term, will we stay in this uptrend? I don't know. You know, I watch and read and look at the gaps in the market just like I do my stocks. It's interesting to say, but just today was a sign, a sign to remind me that, you know, if the market goes bearish in the next 12 to 24 months, the shorts that I do, the way that I trade, we're just, everything's going to be going to bigger, huger dream, bigger targets. Like I had a, 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 a lot of conviction to hold when to the bigger number today, all the way down because, yeah, I, I saw the market. And so the market will help things go to bigger numbers if it's falling, if you're getting the market with it. And that's what happens. I think we set up in a 15-minute sell set up here and go back in and break a new low this afternoon. Not, not now at 1225, but I think we get down to 175 today. And how we close today is going to determine what we do tomorrow. Here's the two scenarios for the market. Trade down here today and close. Close very bearish around here or near the low. If that happens and we gap down tomorrow morning, we're going to fall off a planet bigger than we did today. If we close like this, the way we are right now, we're going to open neutral tomorrow and probably have a neutral slash bullish day, not really go anywhere and trade in a tight range because of today's volatility. But if we close bearish today, we are lower tomorrow in a huge way. Here we are, we're setting up in a 15 minute sell setup. Let me look at the cues. So, and, and you know, the cues are at the area right now. So, it's really how we trade tomorrow is really going to depend a how we close today and b how we gap tomorrow then i'm going to be able to see what the market's going to do tomorrow to see how we're going to get some of these follow through for things you know amazing trading day today to the downside to the short side which is what i do i never go long i never go long i always short so when i get a day like today where everything works everything goes to dream targets everything is in play it's a fantastic day and it's a great day to short. And if you don't understand shorting or are uncomfortable with it or don't know how to do it, I'm teaching people how. As far as I'm concerned, it's the only way to trade. People take and think a long time about buying stuff and they never think about selling out of things when they want to. If there's any sign of panic or any hesitation or any reason they want to get out of something, they do. And so there's a, an action, an action created by participants of the stock. And when the stock gaps down and they, they short it or sell out of it, oops, People sell out of it, and then I'm shorting it. And that's what makes the move. And it's just one of these things that's just uh, really, 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 really makes it fun to trade. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If you know how to trade, which I do, and you know how to make money in the market, it is the best job going. <laughs> you have to learn what to do. It does cost money to take my class, but it is well worth it. And, and you can learn from me and then be in the live room and take my trades. So great day. Great day in the Stock Swish Show live trading room. Great day in the market for shorts. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com review of the gaps today. If you'd like more information or want to do the upcoming gap course this weekend, it's November 9th and 10th. You can email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a fantastic day.